Hello. Hi, everyone. Say hi, Gwen. You waved. That was so cute. That was perfectly timed. So she did something cool yesterday, last night, guys. She walked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are we fussy about that? That's so cool. Oh, okay, we're upset that we're walking. Honey bunny, what is wrong? Oh, it was kind of funny actually. So um I was we were on the I was on the couch. Alex was sitting on the um end table for some reason. I do that too sometimes, so we just consider that another chair. Um and watching one of her shows and she sees something on the coffee table and thinks, Oh, I just need to go get that. So she gets she gets down from where she's standing by the couch, crawls over to the coffee table gets up and grabs the toy. And okay. on her way there, I said, you know, it'd be much easier if you would just walk a couple steps to the coffee table. So and on the way back to the couch, she just turns around and walks a couple steps over to me. I'm like, what's that? No, brick. <laughs> Not expecting it, no camera ready. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, I told my mom uh, immediately after I heard. The <laughs> well, you, you bit the table, of course I heard. The table is not food. Yeah, the table is not food. Uh, and my mom goes, it's going to be really hard to keep her in the library. And I said, she can just lock her in the tech room. You know, just close that door. And my mom <laughs> going to get everywhere. And I said, you know, tis the nature. She already tries to crawl out of there every time the door opens. Oh. Hello. There's a whole exciting world of books in the library that you yes. just aren't privy to yet. It's okay. Oh. I like your skirt, Kenneth. You look very nice today. You look like some cotton candy. <laughs> oh, baby. The, uh, I knocked the chandelier a little bit ago, and it's moving. So that's why she keeps looking up there. I'm like, oh, what is that? Actually, I have a, a light askew. <laughs> look how much you were mad at that, like, three minutes ago. You were crazy, boy. Oh, it's here. It snacks. Go for it. She's so funny because her emotions change. Like she'll be crying and then just deadpan. And I'm like, like Are you really upset? I don't think so. Are you faking it? Like, that's fine, but I'm just checking. <laughs> like, should I be concerned? <laughs> hmm. But I mean, I also have instantaneous things when I need a snack. So like I really wouldn't be surprised. I just don't cry. So I get hangry. Hangry, yeah. Or do. like the slightly lower degree. Yeah. Frumpy. <laughs> Frumpy. I never really considered hangry on a scale like that. But I guess it, I it is. Or Hanoid. <laughs> Hanoid. <laughs> Thank you sharing Thank your period? You. Thanks for cheering. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy. That was cute. <laughs> She's so <laughs> dainty. I'm obsessed. <laughs> so it's Veterans Day. Happy Veterans Day, everyone. And thank you to all of our veterans who have served <laughs> or either with us or no longer with us. So thank you to the families who uh, have somebody who's no longer with us. I we're one of them. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> my uh, my grandpa was. Uh, we're actually going to talk about some a, a couple of veterans. Sort of for me, yes. For you, it's sort of <laughs> that we admire. And, uh, my grandpa is one of. The, there's mine. He was uh, in the Korean War, uh, in the 51st Signal, and he was stationed on a mountaintop. Uh, doing radio signals right on the parallel by the, uh, the border between North Korea and South Korea. That sounds terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> um, we had some quite interesting stories for sure. <laughs> Why are you so fussy? Oh, we're going to take a pause. Hold on. Okay, she's feeling better now. <laughs> Just needed some deep breaths. <laughs> so as I was saying, he was a uh, radio control operator on a mountaintop out there. And uh, some of his stories, he, he played, I don't think it was him, 
I don't know. Some of the stories get confused. Like, is he talking about himself or is he talking about somebody he knew there? But said something about it was so cold up there with their summer uniforms that uh, somebody like stood in the middle of a campfire to warm their feet up. His feet were pretty bad. Frostbite was pretty awful. I I don't I I don't like feet stuff. <laughs> I think about. Yes. You need those, you know? Like The whole leg doesn't work without them. You know, you just got to have the feet. And I... And people manage. I know, but I just, in order for the leg to... Feet stuff makes me uncomfortable. I don't know what it is. I just... And I can't imagine that little ice cubes as feet. It stresses me out. I don't know why it stresses me out so bad, but um, maybe you need to not think about it in such gruesome details. <laughs> I just go. I I'm an extreme person. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's like, what's the worst possible version? Okay, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so he was up there. Um, he has a story about throwing a snowball at uh, MacArthur and Sigmund Reed and that was Sigmund which I don't know if that's true or not, but it's his favorite story to tell yeah. kids. Let's let it be true. <laughs> <laughs> he says that he didn't really get in much trouble with that, except for like a stern look from MacArthur because uh, Sigmund was laughing too hard. <laughs> so, that's funny. Yeah. I know! Yeah. Oh, she's so cute. So that's my grandpa. He also did some uh, uh, testing out at a, a base that apparently wasn't doesn't exist out in Arizona or New Mexico or something. Area fifty one. It was not area. 51. It was area fifty one. He had it, to lie. <laughs> it was not that. He was doing nuclear testing. Uh, in charge of radios again, of course. But. Interesting. Yes, yeah, and saw MacArthur again. <laughs> <laughs> I love this pretty, pretty cool dude. It's really cool. Yeah, my grandfathers also served, um, but one of them had a rough experience, and the other one was not in a war. Like, they just were... Peacetime? Yes. And... Um, so I don't have any uh, cool stories as such. So instead, I went the historical route because I was like, well, I know that I have, um, like, there are plenty of veterans to be inspired by. Um, so I chose Harriet Tubman, which was fascinating because I think I knew that she was a veteran, but um, after leading all of those folks who had been enslaved um, to freedom, she then acted as a spy in an espionage ring for the Union, which is like, <laughs> I really love awesome. powerful women. Like, it's just so cool. Like, I recently read a book about her because I think we just got like two different Harriet Tubman books. Um, and she is just a cool person. I say is yeah. as if it wasn't <laughs> like 150 years ago, but you know, sometimes <laughs> lives on forever. We still use present tense because we still think of her as a cool person. Yeah, she is actively cool and always will be. Yeah, so that's amazing because I, what a long, exhausting life that has helped so many people and like changed the industry. Like, I love it. I love it. I love strong, powerful women. I love strong, powerful men as well, but also I'm inspired a lot more by the lasses. <laughs> well, considering that we are the lasses. I do happen to be a lass. <laughs> we would relate more. Yeah. <laughs> but yes. anyway, thank you so much for your service, everyone. Thank you to everyone. Yep. So coming this week, um, there's, okay, that so classes this week are on the down low. We are all online for the children, uh, with the exception of I have a, um, a spa do night coming up on Thursday tomorrow uh, for adults. Uh, it's 
probably going to be the last in-house class for November for a I think Marlena froze again in a very strange spot. Hold on, let's try to fix this. Hey, she's fixed! Hey! <laughs> the darn freezing. I, I just, there's something about, I don't, Corona, you know. Yeah, that's it. We're going to look at everything <laughs> Corona. Every time something happens, I just look at my husband and I go, Corona. 2020. <laughs> Yay. Yay. So you were telling me about Spado, and then I didn't hear anything. Okay, so that is Thursday night uh, Thursday. at 5.30. Uh, we've still got a few spots re ready for registration for you guys. Um, after that, everything goes online for the rest of the month. For children's especially. And um, Friday night, we've got something cool for you guys. It's an Iron Chef challenge. I don't know if anybody knows what Iron Chef is, but um, we are taking our own library spin on it. And you have uh, certain ingredients to pick up at the library Ooh. and then bring them home. And we log into Zoom at that night and we try to make something and see who has the coolest thing that they made. And I love that. So the ingredients are a secret, right? The ingredients are secret. I currently don't even know what they are because I have I have an inkling of what they might be, but I was not there to do the shopping. So very cool, very cool. That's currently exciting. Miss Allison is the only one who knows. Awesome. So do folks have to sign up online? Um, yeah. So you need to register on our calendar at BridleyLibrary.org. What you do, you just uh, find the event on the calendar, click on it, hit register, and you're in, guys. And we will send you a confirmation email to uh, remind you to log in for the fun times that night. That sounds like a lot of fun. Like, that sounds really exciting. We've never done anything like that before. But wait, no. there's more. Oh, there's more? There's more stuff! So, next Tuesday, okay, we're having a paint night on Zoom. Oh! Mm-hmm. Okay. We're using a um, uh, tutorial video that Miss Allison has, uh, she introduced me to this really cool lady who does these tutorial videos that we can buy, so we are buying a video, and we are going to all try to paint it together. Yeah, fun. Mm -hmm. So, um, there'll be, oh man, you're trying to roll off my lap here. There will be supplies available at the library, limited to the canvases and hard paints. Everything else you'll have to supply for yourself. And on the registration, uh, there's a list of everything else you would need. And if you wanted to buy your own paints, what paints those would be. So. Very cool. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. I love it. So again, register for those on brightlylibrary.org. Yes. Uh, pickup bags are going to be ready Wednesday for Iron Chef. Right. Uh, Wednesday evening, I believe. And um, for paint night, it's going to be Saturday will be pick up for that. That's awesome. I love it. That's exciting. I love that even though it's a really difficult time and programming is not the same, we're still trying to find fun things, but it's, it's a wild time. But Iron Chef is not something we'd be able to do in the library anyway. So this is like right, a great Yeah, because we don't have a cooking oh. equipment for that. Nope. It's we lost a sponsor. And... Um, Buy us a whole big room full of different ovens and such. Yeah, like you on um, uh, British Baking Show. That'd yes. be amazing. We would love you. We would name the room after you. Love it. Yeah, we will. We'll name the room after you. <laughs> we'll dedicate every single oven to you. Yes. Your name can just be plastered on every single item if that's what you need to give us ovens and fridges. And, uh, I love British bacon. I'm not thinking about cake. Food segment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, living the dream. Okay, guys. Well, that's what we have today, and we will see you next week. Bye. Goodbye, Gwen. <laughs> Bye, guys. Happy Bye. Christmas Day. <laughs>